If you want to duplicate a page on your WordPress website and you're using Avada, there's actually an Avada duplicate page feature built directly into the platform. Well, the theme. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to use it real quick because it's super helpful. And I'm going to show you as a bonus how to duplicate sections of a page in case you want to just tear a page apart and rebuild it in a new way. Okay, so we're on the home page of the website built on Avada. You can see the Avada theme here. So I'm just going to edit this home page here and we're going to use this as the example. So we're using the Avada Builder. You can see where it says default editor here. If you click that, it's going to switch away to just the default builder. But if you're using the Avada Builder, then you have this black bar at the top. And if you hover over this, it's actually like a disk from a computer. But see how it says save page layout? If you click that, you can actually create a template from that page, right? So we can see we already have homepage layout, but we'll just say homepage example template. We're going to save this template. Boom. Got it. Okay. Now if we go and add a new page, then we're going to have the ability if we're using the Avada builder to click on. So same thing. We clicked on this uh, save page template, right? If you click on that, then you can click load. And then there's some options. You can replace all the content, insert above current content, or insert below current content. So say you had a page, right, with like a couple of elements. Maybe you've got uh, an alert, <laughs> just some random stuff. You can insert the page below all of this that is already created on this page. So you could keep this section and insert the page below it. But in this case, we're just going to copy over the entire page. So if we hover over load, we're going to click replace all content. Boom. That's the entire page. If we preview it, you'll see that it's going to look identical to the home page, essentially. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we used the wrong template. So let's see if we can do this and switch it. Hmm. Anyways, oh wait, this is, now I'm getting lost. <laughs> this is the home page. <laughs> this is getting confusing now, but nonetheless, uh, that is how you use the, uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, let's load the correct one so this makes sense. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have a duplicate of the home page. We rebuilt the home page on this website at one point, so it loaded up the old one. Right, so this looks identical to the original home page. You can see it's not linked up here because uh, this one is not live yet. Uh, and you can see it's just got a auto-generated URL here. Right, so that's how we duplicate the entire page. Now, what if we just want to duplicate this top section? Well, you just do the same thing. You just click on that save button and if I can spell, holy cow. <laughs> I'm all thumbs today. All right. Don't laugh at me. Okay. So now we have this uh, column section template added, right? So if we want to add this again, then we just go to, because this is a, or excuse me, this is a container, not a column. That's a little confusing. Uh, but if you click add container, then you can go to library container and, cl and click column section template. Should be called container section template. Uh, but now we have two of those up here at the top. And so that's how you duplicate individual sections of a page. And you can add that on any page of the site. So say you have this same header area format for every page on the site, then you can duplicate this or save it through here. Save it as a template. And then for each page you create, then you can just go ahead and load that up and it'll be all built out and ready to go. So I hope that was helpful. <laughs> uh, maybe a little confusing at times, but uh, nonetheless, if there's anything you do have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below. 
I'll be sure to get back to him there. And until next time, take care.